Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have not liked and subscribed the channel, please like and subscribe the channel. Uh, today I am going to say you, uh, this is my YouTube channel, Alien Tech Champion. You can search on Google or you, YouTube. And this channel is related to the, if you want to learn something Microsoft Intune or mobile device management or anything related to the mobile operating system or Windows 10 or related to the technical uh, tips and tricks or anything uh, uh, operating system related or tech blogs so don't forget to subscribe because it's free of course in this video i'm going to say you as you can see my screen right so this is microsoft endpoint manager portal or intune portal in this video i am going to show you how you can replace your password with the guest sir yes for windows machine so that is uh windows hello you you call or whatever you call windows hello for business so let's go to the uh, windows because we are talking about windows and go to the windows enrollment and you see here windows hello for business so what is re it's saying windows hello for business is replace password with strong two-factor authentication it's not easy strong to factor authentication right and this this hello windows for business let let user access their devices using a guest server like biometric authentications or pin because now your password is now very all method right now we want to give some best user experience and with the security without compromising the security such as like biometric authentications right uh, like fingerprint or pin right uh, nobody wants to enter the long password for uh, unlock your uh, PC right or even with the mobile phone So this is uh, Windows hello for business I'm gonna talk and how you can use that right How you can enable this for Windows machine? You see here uh, It's already enabled and you have to configure it. Yeah, right and it's assigned to all users if you want to learn something more about windows hello for business of course you can watch the video and read for this microsoft very uh, informative article so where you can create a tenant wide policy so windows hello for business is actually you can create a tenant wide policy right and when 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 the devices windows 10 or 11 devices they enroll into intune the policy the target your the entire organization and support the windows autopilot out of the box experience so this will actually as i mentioned it's replacement of the use of password with a two-factor authentication on the devices and this authentication consists of user credential that try to devices use a biometric or pin so the device pin could be uh, uh, to unlock your devices and collect connect to the cloud resources and work pin of course it's uh, so it's simple right you see create a windows hello for business so i'm going to show you so this is uh, windows hello for business configure windows hello for business and you have to enable it disable it or not configure right and if you enable use a tpm whether it's required or preferred and minimum pin and length lowercase and pin so everything is it's mentioned here right so you want to use all those uh, hol holographic for business like TPM or pin link. Let's let's go to the Microsoft Intune portal. Configure Hello for Business. Currently, let's enable it. As soon as you click on Enable, right? Uh, you see uh, the TPM. T use TPM required. Yeah, TPM is trusted platform. Those who don't know trusted platform model, which which is actually provide additional layer of data security. If it's set to required the only device with associated tpm can provision windows hello for business if you um, if it's said preferred right so this will attempt to use the tpm but it's not available uh, but if not available will will provision as well so it's it, it depend on you whether you want to uh, select the prefer or with tpm just select required if no just like so i would recommend to prefer to use tpm but make sure your your devices support with tpm minimum pin length you can define whatever you want pin length and everything 
right the phone all of phone sign in and everything you can adjust this policy or enable the, and disable the devices so this is the one click on save right you see it and and it's a tenant wide so that's it allow for all all, all users so it's if you click on that you see it's enable right see and the another is uh, if you want to disable it of course you can disable it if you want to select not configure you can select not configure right and use security key for sign in so what is this use security key for sign in to provide a capacity of remotely using turn off windows alert so you can configure it if you want to enable you can enable it also this is very useful you want to disable this disable this as well so whatever you want to do you to do but it will apply to the tenant wide it will not going to apply and this is the default windows hello for business applied with the lowest priority so all users can get it so make sure um, you 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 have if you disable and just refresh it again you have to if you want to select not configure if you want to select not configure just save it so this is how you can configure and use the windows hello for business and i hope you have learned how you can replace your and give the better end user experience to 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 your windows devices till then thank you have a good day